How to change a schedule in lunch length in Kronos. To change an employee's schedule, from the main dashboard, click the three horizontal lines next to the UKG logo. Next, type in their employee ID and click on the employee name that appears. From there, click on the Profiles tab, which is written vertically, and scroll down to the bottom where it shows Work Schedule. In this example, the employee wants to change from 8 hours a day of a start time at 7 a.m. and an end time of 3.30 p.m. with a 30-minute lunch to 8 hours a day with a start time of 7.30 a.m., an end time of 4.30 p.m., and a 60-minute lunch. To make that change, click the Browse button, which is the magnifying glass on a piece of paper. You see a number of selections. These are mostly done in sequential order based on the number of hours in a day as a starting point. To see all the rows for all the schedules, click on the page icon. In this place, select the maximum of 200. You'll see all the available schedules. Then scroll down until you see the schedule that the employee has requested and it's been approved by their manager. So in making this change, there's also a change in lunch length. So it went from 30 minutes to 60 minutes. To also reflect that there's been a change in lunch length, there's an another area that needs to be addressed. So in their employee profile screen, as you scroll down, sc scroll down different areas, and in the cost centers area, above the accruals area, you'll see default lunch break. There you can click browse after clicking the down arrow and select the lunch break that the employee has requested. And that is for the current day and going forward. It's a semi-permanent change. Then click save. So in the example that we're using, the employee has requested the change at the beginning of the pay period. So they requested it and had it approved back on January 24th, but we're just getting to entering it into Kronos today, which is January 28th. So they've already started working that schedule. So you can see in their calculated total, they're getting eight and a half hours. And that the lunch break is still listed as 30 minutes. Now for the current day, the lunch break or the schedule is correct. It shows it as eight hours, correct start end time, correct lunch. The lunch break has not yet changed. If we look into the future days, the schedule is correct and the lunch break is correct. So those won't need changed in the future. But how about changing past entries? for a timesheet which has not yet been approved, past schedule entries, that is. Well, to do so, click on the schedule link, and then under shift type, click the down arrow, then select the schedule that you'd like, then click save. You'll notice that doing so, even after clicking save for the timesheet, doesn't change the calculated total because the lunch break is still listed as 30 minutes. So to do that, click in the lunch break area, select 60, and then save. And now it changes it to the correct calculated total of eight hours. In this example, all the days need that change. Simply go through, make that change, even for the current day, so that when the person swipes out, they'll have the correct lunch break length. Click Save, and then correct the remaining schedule entries.
Now after clicking save, you'll see that for these four days, the calculated totals are correct. Eight hours, the lunch break length is what the employee has requested and the manager has approved. And then for future days, the schedule and lunch break length are set going forward based on what we entered in the employee profile.